y'all. So I thought I would share with uh, you guys something I just installed uh, to kind of make my electrical system a little more reliable and make sure that I'm not stranded ever uh, with a dead battery. And that is this battery isolator switch. Essentially all this does is disconnect the main, the positive line um, from the rest of the car from going to the battery. Uh, and the reason I did this was because, as I've mentioned in the past, uh, my head unit does draw a little bit of current. So if the car is left sitting for a long time, eventually the battery is going to go dead. Um, and I've confirmed that it is, in fact, the head unit um, just because it didn't do that before I installed the head unit. So I know that that's what it's, what's doing it. Um, and again, if you've seen any of my previous stuff, uh, I just installed <clears throat> a NOCO Genius chart or battery maintainer in the back of the car in the spare tire compartment. Um, and that is what this wire right here is. So this runs in this wire loom down under the car and then up into the spare tire compartment where it's attached to the NOCO charger. Uh, and then the NOCO charger is plugged into shore power using the extension cord connection uh, right there in the bumper. So that wire is connected directly to the battery. So whether or not this switch is off, the battery will still be charged uh, if the car is plugged in. Now this wire also is gonna provide uh, the second bank power for my solar controller. My solar controller has the ability to charge two separate battery banks independently. So the one is one is obviously the one in the back, uh, the medical batteries that I have in the back, which are lithium uh, batteries. So it charges those right now. Um, and I'm waiting on a splitter to wire that into the same wire so that that also is going to provide power to the starting battery using the solar panels which that should be enough to keep the battery charged up uh, whenever the car's sitting anyway but just as an extra precaution i went ahead and added this so whenever i'm going to be leaving the car sitting for a while and i don't have access to an extension cord or something to plug it in i can just turn off the battery this battery is isolated there's nothing drawing any current from it uh, so the next time i go to start the car all i gotta do is pop the hood turn this back on and i should be good to go and i've tested it a few times and it does work um, i know it doesn't look the prettiest right now uh, i just kind of used some wires i already had i already had this battery cable here with ends on it so just used that and as you can see uh, i've already actually removed the stock battery tray that comes in the element that big bracket that sits here and i've dropped the battery down um, the tray is an aluminum tray made for the optima batteries and it's mounted to the frame rail uh, using some rib nuts so it's just sitting there it sits lower and then i replaced my connectors with some uh, military spec um, more heavy duty and easier to work with connectors yeah, there you go. That's a basic electrical setup for isolating my starter battery to make sure that uh, when I go to start the car, I got power.